Hello from the Music Interview Corner. Today from Düsseldorf, Germany with Lenka. Hey Lenka. Hi. So Hi. cool that you have time for us. Thank you, my pleasure. <laughs> so my first question is, uh, your album Shadows is out for one week now. How is the feedback so far? It's been really good actually. Um, I've gotten very nice reviews and more importantly my fans seem to really really like it. Um, people have been giving me very nice responses like that they're very thankful that I made it and that feels really nice. Cool. Mm, and do you have a personal favorite track on Shadows? Well, it's very hard to choose and I change my mind all the time. So um, I think my favorite is Two Heartbeats mm -hmm. because it's got the heartbeat in it of my baby when he was in my oh. womb um, from the, the doctor's office where we recorded the Doppler. Um, so I think that will always be very special for him and for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, you are a mother mm. since one year. Mm. And how did motherhood change your life? And did this influence your music as well? It changed everything. Um, as I'm sure any parent out there knows, it really, it's a, a major change in your life and everything is suddenly, you have a new perspective. And so I, I wrote this album when I was pregnant and when I had him as a little baby. So I really used that inspiration and put it into the songs. Um, yeah, whether it's about him specifically and how beautiful he is or whether it's about something where it made me feel very reflective on my own life and mm -hmm. what has happened up until now and, you know, everything just became a lot more epic and serious. <laughs> yeah, and I think somebody uh, wrote about your album that it's like a lullabies for, for adults. Mm. Is that what you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're definitely lullabies. They're like... They're supposed, the songs are supposed to make you feel very calm and soothed and dreamy and I really want these songs to like go with you as you fall asleep and go into your dreams and you know inspire you and make you feel um, happy and hopeful. You spent the early years of your own childhood in the Australian outback. Mm -hmm. um, did this have an influence on your later life? Yeah, I think it did. Um, it wasn't actually the outback, I have to clarify, because the outback is the desert pretty much. But I grew up in what we call the bush. And the bush is like sort of like the forest, but um, in an Australian way, which is a lot more like scrubby and dry with kangaroos and wombats hopping around everywhere. Um, but it was a very free, beautiful, natural life. Um, You know, I was just sort of running around in fancy dresses, singing songs to the trees and, you know, really using my imagination a lot. And I think that has really stayed with me as an artist. I, I stay, I, I keep that whimsical imagination child alive in, in my music now. Cool. And at this time, did the kangaroos and wombats like your songs? Yeah, I think they did. Um, I think that they, they were fans. They were my first fans. <laughs> Before you started making music solo, you had a career as keyboarder and singer of the electro rock band Decoder Ring. What kind of experience did you gain during this time? Well, I learned a lot. Um, it was my first outing in professional music, so I was very new and young and didn't know really how it all worked. So they really taught me about what it's like to be in a band and touring and recording in the studio. It was, it was very interesting and very, very fun. And I think that they're quite experimental and they influence the way that I see music and put put it together um, and particularly on this new album I've been returning to that style a little more and actually working with some of those guys so um, yeah it's been interesting yeah cool and last year the company Microsoft used your song everything at once in the commercial for Windows 8 how did this feel for you it was great I really loved the commercial actually because it had my video in it that I made so I was like well this is pretty much just like a commercial for me <laughs> um, no I was very proud that you know that they th liked the video and and saw it as a great example for their product and for me it was awesome because it went around the world and it sort of found me new listeners and a new fan base in countries that I wouldn't have been able to access like Russia and Turkey I'd never had anything going on in some of these countries India yeah. and now you know I have a fan base there purely because that ad introduced people to my music yes yeah, so thanks to Microsoft for Thank the worldwide you. commercial <laughs> 
And now my last question. What is your biggest dream for the future that you haven't achieved yet? Um, in music, it would be performing with an orchestra. Ah. I'd really love to do that. I've never done that. And in life, it would be living in the country and growing my own vegetables. Oh, that's a cool dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then all the best for your future, Elenka. You. And thank you so much. Tschüss. <laughs> Tschüss. Goodbye from the Music Interview Corner.